We're evolving. We welcome you to the family. Today, I'm going to be speaking about visualizing your drawing and the power of visualization. Now, I know there are some artists that have issues visualizing what they're going to draw. And I know in my earlier journey, I also had uh, issues visualizing what I was going to draw. And I also feel that visualization can help with studying or, you know, improving your, your, your speed because you can visualize it in your mind. And then with that reference in your mind, you can start to draw. So when you close your eyes, all you see is pitch black. And I know like eventually as you're still continuing to view this pitch black darkness as you close your eyes, eventually your, your mind starts to wander. And when you're in that state of calmness, relaxation, and when you close your eyes, the pitch black is not pitch black. It's, it's more than pitch black. You just start to have your imagination run wild. That's the perfect time to start visualizing. So when I would go about my studies visualizing, uh, I remember back in the day, or you know, just a few, a, f a few months ago actually, uh, when I was studying my proportions, what I would do is actually uh, visualize uh, the eight head figure model. So the proportions and the eight head figure model, they're a foundation to build the human body. So if a person were to visualize the human body without knowledge of the eight head figure model or you know just proportions in general then it may be difficult to get a foundation in your imagination however once you understand that the human body is divided into eight heads after viewing a tutorial on human proportions you can easily start to visualize what's going on in your mind and you may not get it a hundred percent of the time but eventually, as, you, as you're continuing doing this, eventually it'll become ingrained in your mind and it'll be easier for you to map these things out. It just takes, it takes con constant practice for, to train that visualization skill. And you can do this on the bus or when, when you're uh, you know, almost going to sleep or waking up in the morning. You, know, you can do this anytime when you're just chill out, chill out chillaxing. So when we're drawing, we like to start with the basics. So we like to draw the human body first in a basic cylinder shape or square shape or so just to get a, a grasp as to the basic forms so that we can later on to get into more details. So when you're visualizing, you want to start to visualize the, the basic shapes of whatever you're drawing as opposed to the, the complexity. Because you'll have a your mind will have an easier time di digesting the simpler shapes more. So if you'd like to improve at rotating the the body or the head from in different perspectives, just you know close your eyes and just imagine a, a sphere, and imagine there there's an axis on that spirit on that sphere, and imagine that sphere just rotating back and forth or wherever you're going. Imagine it being an animation and pay attention to that axis that's going on. The axis that's moving the, the x and y axis and so i feel we can only visualize what the mind knows or what it has studied so if you've studied proportions you can visualize the eight head figure of the proportions or if you if you're studying anatomy you know you can look at some basic anatomy tutorials just to see how the muscle placements go how the muscles work just to understand where the muscles go and like the reason why the muscle is there and whatnot. Once you have a, a guideline of you know the the anatomy of the feet or the, the leg or the, or the face, you can easily start to uh, train yourself to have it into visualization after you've studied it. So this can help you improve your speed recall as you're drawing. And as I'm as I'm visualizing, uh, one thing I love to listen to is four three two hertz music, which is meditation music music, which is uh, really relaxing to listen to, and it takes your mind off into another world in a sense. So you wouldn't want to listen to anything that's lyrical heavy because it makes you pay attention to what's going on in the music as opposed to what's going on in your own mind. 
you want something that's more instrumental so I can also recommend uh, chill hop that's also something I do enjoy but I mainly uh, recommend a 432 Hertz meditation music because you know it's what's work it's what works best for me but uh, other people are different so yeah and while you're listening to this uh, this type of uh, music you want to do this after you've uh, made your studies after you've studied proportions or some part of the body in terms of anatomy after you study some like part like uh you've studied your part of the face or the legs after you study that sp particular part that's when you want to uh you know you can also practice as well practice is also you know physical practice is also uh equally as beneficial you know both 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 visualization and action are both required but at the same time visualization is uh, very underrated so after you do that uh, after you do your studies and such you want to just listen and then start uh, visualizing to whatever you've just studied to help reinforce what you've learned and that will be the video thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed this video consider caressing that bell button and subscribe button down below and also liking helps the video and peace